What's up, Heroes fans? Welcome back to another episode of the HGC Minute, where the length of our show is unaffected by daylight savings. I'm your host, Kevin. Let's get to it. This is our first week back from the clashes, and while we've had an amazing first weekend, we've had an even more amazing Western clash. After getting knocked into the loser's bracket on the first day, the Zealots made it all the way through the loser's bracket into the grand finals. In an epic game seven on Towers of Doom, the number one seed, Team Dignitas, barely put a stop to the Cinderella story to deny Zealots the championship with just two points left on their core. The Eastern Clash progressed with not too many surprises in the first two days of the tournament. We had some good showings from the Chinese teams, but the Korean teams proved to be too much for them and advanced through the bracket. The final day, however, was as unpredictable as could be. Team Tempest, the number one team from Korea, lost to KSV Black and got knocked out in a nail-biter of a five-game set by Ballistics. The grand finals were just as close as Ballistics took KSV Black to the full seven games after losing 0-3 to them earlier in the day. After a back and forth, Ballistics came out on top to win their second tournament in Taiwan and second Eastern Clash in a row. After a couple of weeks off for the clashes, HGC is back in full force. HGC Europe, Korea, and North America all resumed last weekend, and HGC China is soon to follow. Keep a special eye out for the Open Division as the top teams will be competing for an HGC spot at the end of this phase in May. In addition to the HGC, Heroes of the Dorm starts their round of 64 this week. Our next edition of Brawl with the Blues will be this Wednesday, March 28th at 11 a.m. Pacific on our Twitch channel. Join Tempo Storm's fan and Alex Nyman, a member of Phoenix's design team, as they dive into the new Protoss hero. Once arguably the most controversial player in the scene, Mopsio has used the self-cleanse and become one of the best tanks globally. Mopsio made the big plays for his team at the grand finals of the Western Clash and during week six of the HGC. Give it up for Mopsio as this week's MVP. Looking to secure that top four, the Polybomb going out and the throw in by Mopsio! Are you kidding me, Dreadnought? It's just it's Mopsio on Garrosh, that's what happens. Mopsio, go through the portal, hit the taunt on Malfurion, go back through the portal, and poor little Malfurion waddles his way over to the position of Garrosh where Mopsio is like, come here, let's go, and then June was killed. That is an insane play! That's it for our HDC Minute. Here's a look at the global standings before we take off. As always, if you missed any of the HTC action, you can catch the VODs on our website, playheroes.com slash esports. Until our next minute, friends, we'll see you in the Nexus.